American Heart Month ends today, but the focus on keeping our hearts healthy certainly shouldn't. Welcome back, I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. San Diego's unique lifestyle radiates laid back vibes, but that doesn't make us immune to stress and anxiety, America's most common mental illnesses. CBS 8's Jesse Pagan shows us how much of an impact mental health has on our physical well-being. How stressed out are you? Oh, 11. I'd say it's 7 out of 10. I'm about to pay for college, so. <laughs> it's not a secret. Between the pandemic's lasting effects, the economy, politics, and whatever else weighs us down every day, we are stressed out. After stress gave me my own heart scare at the age of 30, I wanted to figure out how this can affect this. It's so important that whenever we're treating an individual, we're treating their whole life. At Rogers Behavioral Health in Rancho Bernardo, Dr. Maya Dion sees how stress and anxiety play out firsthand. Stress really is the physical and the mental reaction that we have to a stressor, which is essentially anything happening outside of us that causes us stress. It's our fight or flight reflex. In the animal kingdom, the threat is real. For example, prey trying to escape a predator. But for people, it doesn't have to be. Humans have this unique ability to imagine. So we can just imagine something happening. Either it hasn't happened yet, or we can think back into the past, and we can create and generate that same internal physical reaction. Unmasked. Imagined or not, we've recently gone through what Dr. Dion calls collective stress, like the pandemic's impacts. It's just adding on extra layers of stress globally, so we're seeing this increase. A late 2022 poll from the American Psychiatric Association found 37% of Americans rated their mental health fair or poor. That's up from 31% in 2021. Meantime, 26% of people expected to be more stressed out this year. I'm seeing a lot more stress in my office, in the clinic, and in the hospital. I have patients coming and telling me I am stressed out and my blood pressure numbers are off the chart. Dr. Lori Daniels is a professor and cardiologist at UCSD Health. Stress and anxiety, they do, they cause real physical changes. She says while different from an actual cardiac event, like a heart attack, stress and anxiety do affect the heart, especially in the long term. When someone is under stress, there's a lot of hormones that get released, the fight or flight hormones like adrenaline, we call it epinephrine, and that sends a direct signal to the heart to beat faster and beat stronger and it triggers a whole cascade of effects in a real heart attack what's happening is one of the blood vessels that feeds your heart that supplies blood to your heart is getting blocked up it's part of the heart muscle is starting to die but the tricky thing is your body might use the same symptoms an ache in your arm your neck or even chest pain to show you there's a problem it's not always clear cut. CDC data shows heart disease is the leading cause of death for Americans, killing about 700,000 people a year. In California, that number is about 66,500. In San Diego County, heart disease killed nearly 2,100 people in 2021, the county's second leading cause of death behind cancer. While some stress here and there likely won't cause a heart attack, long, unchecked periods of it aren't healthy either. We are not going to function well if we are not doing things like sleeping sufficiently, eating, hydrating, just taking care of ourselves by getting movement through the day. Mm -hmm. So those building blocks are so crucial. And from her point, Dr. Daniels agrees. It's way more than we understand. There's a huge link that we don't understand between the mental world and the physical world, including the heart. Now, one important note from Dr. Daniels, if you do feel chest pain, shortness of breath, aches in your arms or your upper body, go to the hospital. She really stresses there is no shame in getting that checked out. And if you feel like you need help to manage your stress or anxiety, you can find help. We've put a link to Rogers Behavioral Health's website on CBSA.com so you can uh, start there. But your story is stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's maybe that's part of the intent, because right? Like, to oh pay no, attention. I think I'm stressed. So now I'm stressed about being stressed. So yeah. The stress I'm Ain't that funny how that happens? And I know that you were concerned about things that you were feeling inside your yeah. own heart and body. What did you learn? From? Yeah, I did, right before my 30th birthday, I started feeling, you know, a little heaviness in my chest. My arm was aching. And naturally, when they say, you know, chest and left arm specifically, run to the hospital. So that's exactly what I did. Got all kinds of tests done. And it turns out 
my heart's pretty much fine. It was stress and anxiety that was just lying underneath there, even when I was on vacation that first week of the year. Listen to your body. Listen to your body. It finds ways to get your attention when you're not paying attention to and it. Help finding out what it's saying exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. You. Of course, both for, for your mental mm -hmm. well-being and for your physical well-being. Because you were stressed about all of the symptoms, and then after you got a diagnosis, it was like, okay. Yeah. Can it make does a few chill changes, out. lifestyle, mm -hmm. sleep more, yeah. eat well. And as Carlene tells me all the time, eat a salad. That helps too, probably. It's, it's, <laughs> it's advisable. <laughs> it's recommended.